Hello there, Des Kelly here from GMIT Letter Frack, and welcome along to another of our DCG SolidWorks tutorials. Just before we begin, if you'd like to find out more information about any of the degree programs we offer in furniture design, wood technology, or teacher education, then please visit our Facebook or Twitter pages. So this is the project we're going to complete in this tutorial. It's a drinking beaker. It's a very good project to practice and to draw when you're starting out learning the software because it's going to cover a range of introductory features such as uh, a very basic introduction to sketching, uh, an overview of the extruded boss base feature. We're also going to use a particular feature called the full round fillet. We're going to use a dome feature at the bottom of the cup a shell feature to hollow out the cup and then we will use the material appearances feature within SOLIDWORKS to make the beaker actually look like this high gloss plastic. So let's begin. Now moving over to SOLIDWORKS we want to open up a new part so if you go to file new part and then press OK a new part should open for you. So within the part to begin with we will call up a sketch and we will select a circle and make sure it's this type of circle as opposed to the perimeter circle, just a circle. You'll then be prompted to select a plane on which to draw. So in my case, I want to select the edge of the top plane. And with two clicks, I will position the circle. The first click will snap onto this red marker called the origin. That yellow icon that appears shows me that it's about to snap onto the origin and the second click will position a point on the circumference of the circle. Now that we have a circle, let's uh, set it to be a dimension or a size that we want. So to do this, call up the Smart Dimension tool, click the circumference of the circle, then click to position the dimension, and simply type in the dimension you want. In our case, 70 millimeters, and then press Enter. Note that the geometry now turns black, and in the bottom right hand corner of the screen it says fully defined. That's important, it means the computer isn't missing any information about that circle. So close the sketch by hitting this icon up here. Now we've created our first sketch. The sketch actually logs itself over here in the feature manager, sketch one, so if I need to make any edits to that sketch later I can right click sketch one and select edit sketch. But for now, I'm happy with that sketch, so I will apply an extruded boss base feature to uh, make this 2D circle become a 3D cylinder. So move over to the Features tab, select Extruded Boss Base, and if prompted to do so, select the circle. You can drag this arrow up or down to create the solid, or for more precision, you can enter the value in the dialog box to the left. In our case, 100, 100 millimeters, and either press enter or this green tick. We've now created a cylinder, a solid, but as you can see, it's not the proper tapered shape of the drinking beaker. I need that to extrude at a slight angle. So over here, the feature I've just applied, the boss extrude feature, has logged itself at the bottom of the feature manager. The sketch that was used to create it can be accessed by pressing this expand arrow. But for now, I want to edit the boss extrude feature. So right click the icon and select edit feature. This now opens up the extrude boss base feature again. And we can make edits here. But the edit I want to make is the draft or the taper icon. You must press this blue colored icon to turn it on. In earlier versions of the software, that will be a green colored icon. And simply set the angle you want. Now I'd like an angle of 7 degrees, but I'd like it to be drafted outwards, so tick the draft outward box. Now I'm happy with that, so I will close the feature again by pressing this green tick. And there we have the rough shape of the solid. Now the bottom of the beaker is rounded, so let's apply a regular fillet to that. So call up the fillet feature. Make sure it's set to this first type of fillet, which is a constant size fillet. I want this reading to be 10 millimeters and simply click the edge. For some reason on some computers you do not get this yellow preview. If that's the case, make sure that full preview is ticked over here. Press the green tick to approve that. And now we have 
the fillers at the bottom of the, the beaker. Now this face at the bottom, I don't want that to be flat. I want that to be curved or indented in a little. So to do that, I'm going to use a feature called the dome feature. To access the feature, go to insert features dome. Click the face that you want the dome to be applied to. In this case, the very bottom face of the beaker. And the preview shows me that the dome is applying itself downwards and it's quite large. So first of all, let's make that smaller. So in the value box, change that to say three millimeters, which is fine. And press this flip direction, reverse direction arrow to make sure it goes up into the beaker as opposed to downwards. So if I press the green tick to approve that, it may be hard to see, but if you use the section tool, you can now see what you've created. You've created that little indent into the bottom of the beaker. Tap escape to close that. And there's a slight sharp edge on that um, intersection between the dome feature and the fillet. So I will apply a fillet of, let's say, radius 6 mil just to that edge to ease that sharp edge. Now all that's left to do is to hollow out the beaker. So we will use the shell feature to achieve that. So click shell. Set the wall thickness to 4 millimeters in this case and then click the face that you want to remove. I want to remove the top face. Now in this case, you can see I do not have a preview, so I will make sure I turn on Show Preview, and it gives me a, a good indication of what material will be removed. So press the green tick to approve that, and now you have a nice hollowed out beaker. Again, using the shell feature, or sorry, the section view, I can see what it actually looks like, and it looks pretty good. So the last job is to ease or to fillet the mouthpiece, the top of the beaker. So to do that, I'll use a special type of fillet called a full round fillet. So call up the fillet command as normal, but this time select this fourth option, the full round fillet. And you must select the three faces in order. So in this top box, I want to set or, or assign the outside face. Then click this center box which will allow me to assign the top face. Then click this bottom box to allow me to select and assign the inner face. Press the green tick. What that does is it pulls the best fit full round fillet over the, the top of the mouthpiece of the beaker for me. And so just to finish off the part, let's apply the material appearances. To do this, we will need to open the appearances, scenes and decals tab. I'm going to press this push pin in the top right hand corner to make sure it stays open for now. And at the very top, press the little arrow to the left of appearances color to expand all the available uh, material appearances. I want to expand the plastics folder and select high gloss. When you do that, at the bottom of the screen, you can see all the different high gloss plastics that are available. So I'm going to pick one, let's say green. Click and drag that and drop it onto the beaker. Now, if you move the mouse, it will cancel the command. What you want to do after dragging and dropping is select between a number of different options. For instance, I can place green plastic onto just the face, onto just a particular feature, but in my case, I want it on the entire part. So, so when you're happy with that, click. So there we have the appearance, and what we have here is just a low-res um, preview. It's not actually a rendered view. I will go over how to apply high-quality renders in a later video, but for now, let's just change some settings. Let's change it from a regular view to perspective view. And in this drop-down arrow, let's go to the very bottom icon, which is integrated preview. This may slow your computer down for a moment. But at the very end, you should get a pretty good, high-quality, rendered uh, view of the, the drinking beaker. Okay. So thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you like that video and want to find out more information or learn more about SOLIDWORKS, you can, of course, see a wide range of other videos on our GMIT Letterfrack YouTube channel.